Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Hey Day. Now today we're going to be looking at the edit mode to start with before we head on over to the actual finished design for my flag. Now today, in today's live stream, I started making the Union Jack. I also looked at the Canadian flag and we touched on the American one that I had there originally. Making flags using the decoration is actually an interesting concept and I kind of like it. I've seen a few people around the world that have done their own kind of international flag designs and it's kind of piqued my interest to see what else I can make. Now, I've been getting a lot of these actual designs from uh, people who created like pixel art on the internet. And there's one place that I found on Pinterest that actually has a lot of the flags from around the world in pixel art form that allows you to then create a flag on your farm because literally you're looking at little bits of squares and that's what I've done here. So if you look at each of these pieces there, like each one of these pieces is literally a square within the pattern design. Now, for the ones I've been doing, I've been using crops. I've been using the white rose bushes, the red rose bushes in this case. And what I also decided to do was to use the actual water. Now, at the end of the day, I'm not really sure if I like the water piece there. However, it's definitely much easier having it this way than using crops, like my main design. Because with crops, you need to harvest them. So I can't really keep this design as it is in this way all of the time. Because once I harvest the crops, it goes back to normal. But design-wise, I'm rather pleased. Now, is it important that I need to have all of the land open, uh, allowing me to have a better design? Well, not really. I've got trees off to the side there. There's trees still within the design itself. And there's an unopened land area there. But at the end of the day, you can still see the pattern that I'm trying to do. If I wanted to, I could place it elsewhere on my farm and have it straight down the center, for example. Uh, I've got a lot of space there that could be used to create a flag style design. So think about how you would like to do this. In fact, the link for the different countries' flags is going to be down below uh, in the video description as well for that Pinterest account. Go and check it out. Maybe follow it as well if you are a Pinterest user. Uh, have a look for your country's flag and give it a go. And then send me your design if you actually do create one. Because I'd like to see what decoration you are going to use. Now, please be aware that any decoration that you do use is going to cost you. So as an example, it could be coins, it could be vouchers, it could be diamonds. Now, if it is coin based, remember with coins, each progressive purchase gets more and more expensive. So if I wanted to buy the roses, as an example, I'm going to be paying a lot more money for those rose bushes to actually be able to expand more with my designs. So if I come down here and have a look at the shop at the moment... You'll see as I slide on down to where the roses are, like I've got three white roses there. Let's go place those ones down quickly just to get them out. And you'll see that the next one will cost me 1,140 coins. I buy another one there, that's 1,150. So it doesn't really go up that much in this case, but it's still expensive. For the red ones itself, okay, if I slide on down, the next one is 1,190. I've got oranges, I've got yellows, I've got pinks there. So as I get more money, I will start to increase that anyway. Now, hey, Dave, if people are interested in making designs, what are the odds on maybe giving us some more decorative pieces within the game? Like, I love the path pieces. I definitely would like to see some more of the black path pieces added in, like a road effect, maybe some more brown even some other colors as well because uh, I think more people could be more creative as well now I need to say goodbye to this design I like it but I do need the space so I've got to harvest my actual crops so as I take my crops away from here you can see what the actual base underneath looks like as well so even if I do harvest as such like I've got here, it's not going to be much of a problem. Uh, it still looks good and you can still see the outline. And if I were to replace it, let's just say with wheat as an example, instead of it now being the specific colors of my country, it's going to be all yellow. And that looks rather pretty as well. So design options, very, very good. Now, OK, I'm limited on how much farmland I've got there. You'll see that I've got some spaces down there as well. 
but again, doesn't really matter. If you wanted to, if you still want to have the basic outline for the flag for your country, okay, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day if you're using different color roses, for example. Uh, if you don't have enough money to purchase a lot of pieces, not going to hurt you at the end of the day. Okay, let me know if you actually make a design. Okay, do screenshot it, send it to me as well. Like I said, the uh, link to that Pinterest account is down below in the video description. Go check it out, find your design. If it's something you would like me to create as well down in this area, I will give it a go. But either way, I'm going to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment on my video. Let me know what you think about the design. Let me know if you'd like something else, and I will see you next time. Take care, have fun, and I love the Union Jack. Yeah.